So in this problem, we're told if a car rolls gently off a vertical cliff, how long does it take to reach 55 kilometers per hour? So we're told right off the bat that our initial velocity, which is V sub zero equals zero. But what else do we know? Well, we know it's rolling off a vertical cliff. And for these problems, we're assuming uh, acceleration is constant, right? So the acceleration, since it's falling off a vertical cliff, the force of gravity is going to be acting on it, which is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So like that's just something you have to memorize and know for these problems that uh, the force of gravity, since it's rolling off a vertical cliff, is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, but what else do we know? Well, it's asking us how long does it take to reach 55 kilometers per hour. So we're trying to find like how long it reaches this. So our final velocity is going to be equal to this. That's because like you want to set up the problem in a way where uh, you're solving for a variable. So if we set this final velocity to be this, we can solve for time. And so uh, we're trying to find how long. So we're solving for t, right, time. And so the thing about this problem is uh, that you should have realized is that uh, acceleration in this case, whenever you do acceleration, you generally write it in meters per second squared. So you have it in this, but this is in kilometers per hour. So what we have to do is convert this to meters per second for it to work because the units wouldn't cancel correctly if we didn't. So we have 55 kilometers per hour. We're converting it to meters per second. So if we want to get rid of the kilometers and turn it to meters, we can multiply it by a thousand. So a thousand meters for every kilometer, that is going to cancel that. And then we got to change the hour to seconds. So there's going to be one hour for every 60 minutes, and then one minute for every 60 seconds. So this hour cancels, this hour cancels with this one, or this one, and then this minute cancels with this minute. So we just do 55 times 1,000 times 1 over 60 times 1 over 60. So if you go ahead and do that, uh, 55 times 1,000 is going to be 55,000. And then times 1 over 60 times 1 over 16, uh, 1 over 60 is going to give you 15.277, whatever it goes on. And uh, I'm going to round to the 7 to an 8. So 15.28. And then keep in mind that this is... Um, uh, velocity right so it's going to be meters per second that's what we just converted it to so meters per second and so now we've got it like this uh we got to decide which kinematic formula to use and so based off all uh all of these uh two three and four all contain delta x so we're not solving for any distance here we're only solving for time and so the only one that we would use is number one so two three and four we're not going to use so we're going to use this one v equals v sub zero plus a times t. So let's just plug in. We can just plug in, right? Because we have all the variables. So v is 15.28 equals v sub zero, which is zero. I'm not going to write it though. Plus a, which is minus 9.8 times t, which we're solving for. So we can just divide both sides by minus 9.8. That's going to give us t. So 15.28 uh, divided by minus 9.8, it's going to give you uh, minus 1.5589 and so on. And uh, you can round this however you want. Uh, I'm just going to round it to uh, 0.6. So it's going to be minus 1.6, just rounding this up. And uh, so keep in mind they're asking us for time, right? And we got a negative number. So uh, what you should realize is that time can't be negative. It doesn't really make sense. So just the way we did the problem, you could have made acceleration positive and it would have came out cl uh, cleaner, right? So this would have been positive, but all you got to do is just change it to positive. So it's just going to be 1.6 seconds. So uh, yeah, that's going to be your answer to this problem.